As hospitalizations and deaths from COVID-19 rise, governments are grappling with whether to prioritize getting a primary shot of vaccine into as many arms as possible, or to require a slower approach that reserves a number of the limited supply to deliver a second dose at the optimal interval to achieve maximum protection. Some governments seem willing to simply accept the trade-off of lower immunity to inoculate more people. Some scientists have cautioned that untested timing regimens have the potential to undermine confidence in vaccines and, even worse, facilitate the emergence of dangerous new variants. 1. What's the timing on vaccine doses? COVID-19 vaccines made by Moderna Inc., Pfizer Inc., BioNTech SE, and AstraZeneca PLC are administered in two doses. The recommended timing of the second dose varies counting on the vaccine, and is predicated on clinical test data regulators utilized in their review process. In studies, the second Pfizer BioNTech dose was given 21 days after the initial shot. Moderna's was given 28 days later. Doses of AstraZeneca's vaccine were scheduled 4 to 12 weeks apart across four trials. 2. Why may be a second shot needed? It's not always. Vaccines are intended to hardwire immunological memory to get a rapid, targeted and sturdy response by antibodies and cells to an invading foe. One dose of the Yellow Jack vaccine provides lifelong protection, and Johnson & Johnson's on a shot COVID-19 vaccine was found in late January to get strong protection against severe disease during a large, late-stage trial. Booster shots are typically administered to offer the system advanced training to form better antibodies. Some vaccines requiring multiple doses are administered for months apart to optimize immune memory. Some COVID-19 vaccines may go an equivalent way, but it'll take additional studies to understand this. Needless to say research released before peer review and publication in early February showed the AstraZeneca vaccine was more efficacious when the second dose was administered 12 weeks or more after the initial shot than when the two shots got six weeks or less apart. The finding correlated with an antibody response that was quite twice as high when there was an extended gap between shots. 3. What's being proposed by using shots that normally would have gone to people that have already received the primary dose, the UK aims to offer more people an initial dose. The strategy is supported by researchers studying the AstraZeneca vaccine, who found vaccinating an outsized proportion of the population with one dose, with a second dose given three months later, is an efficient strategy for reducing disease, and should be the optimal for rollout of an epidemic vaccine when supplies are limited within the short term. Within the US, new guidance allows doses of the Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines to be spaced out by up to six weeks if it's impossible to urge the follow-up shot on time, normally after three or four weeks. The FMA said slight delays shouldn't affect the protection offered by the vaccine. 4. What is going to the delay do? It's hard to understand without more research. Preliminary findings from the AstraZeneca trials found one standard dose was 76% effective at stopping symptomatic infection 2,290 days after vaccination. That compares with 82% efficacy when two standard doses got 12 weeks or more apart. Data from the Pfizer-BioNTech trial found partial protection was achieved as early as 12 days after the primary dose, but two doses were required to supply maximum efficacy, or 95% protection against disease. There are not any data to demonstrate that protection after the primary dose is sustained after 21 days. There is also concern that inoculated patients may change their behavior during a way. That increases the danger of spread, negating a number of the advantages of vaccination. During a split with other regulators, the Ecumedicines Agency said that changing how coronavirus vaccines are given to people raises the danger of reducing effectiveness. 5. What are the risks of spacing out doses? They are medical, theoretical and social. The medical risk is that the primary dose almost certainly won't be as protective as two doses. Spacing out doses extends the amount when people most of whom are chosen to urge vaccines. Quickly it now for reasons of vulnerability will have suboptimal protection until they get their second dose. 
The theoretical risk is that a weak response to the virus in many people that have received only one dose would foster the emergence of latest variants that would evade vaccine-induced antibodies. This is able to undermine a year's work to develop safe and effective vaccines. And therefore the social risk is that mixed messages on the subject from governments, regulators, professional groups and drug makers will make it harder to speak with the general public on vaccines that are already controversial and shunned by some. 6. What's happened in countries with rapid vaccination by late January, Israel had given quite one for of its people a minimum of one dose. Health officials there have noted that cases began to decline within fortnight of the shots being administered, and before people began receiving a second dose. However, some data collected from older residents susceptible to developing severe illness indicated the primary dose led to a 33% reduction in COVID-19 cases, far less than the effectiveness after two doses. Data collected by AstraZeneca, however, shows that pacing out doses by 8 to 12 weeks may very well be the efficacy sweet spot, Menpangalos, the drug maker's executive vice chairman for biopharmaceutical research and development, told a UK government panel. The UK drugs regulator has recommended the AstraZeneca vaccine be administered within an interval of up to 12 weeks. The Planet Health organization says that, although there's some data to support that interval for the AstraZeneca vaccine, there's no scientific evidence to stretch the second dose of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine to 12 weeks.